Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another eight box jumbo break of 2023 Bowman Baseball. Big thanks to this group of people here, here for making it happen on a Thursday. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats to the people who won their spots that Bowman Jumbo Pack number 14. And it was Ed. Ended up with last spot mojo. The next pick your team has already been in the store. Get your team straight up if you'd like. Knife? So get into it before it ends up in a filler, which, which inevitably most likely will. Or we can fill it straight up if we want to. I'll give everyone a moment for that. If you want to avoid the random nature of the randomizer. Alright, so a bit of a longer break, so just settle in. But hopefully we'll have some people here to keep me company in the chat. Uh, I think a light day in baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Too many games today. Thursday, generally a travel day for most teams, or a day off for most teams. But we got a few games in the books. We got uh, the Royals beat the White Sox four to three. Twins beat the Padres five to three, and the Reds shut out the Mets five nothing. Yes, this is Pick Your Team 14, as it says in the schedule. Unless I wrote it wrong in the schedule? No, I wrote it correctly in the schedule. Remember, for Vanes and others, keep an eye on that break schedule. It'll always tell you what we're doing, what we're gonna do, what we've done already, um, just so you're never in the dark. We try to keep all that information as public as possible so we always know what's happening here. That's all right, man. That just gives me an excuse to, uh, to highlight the fact that we have a schedule for the people that don't know. Always, always a good reminder time. And you can also see on the website that Pick Your Team 15 is not sold out yet. This one is. We should do another one tonight. A lot of prospect hunting here. All right, good luck. So we're going to breeze through this the paper and we'll kind of save some of the some of the top players here and here's Ricardo Perez to 2.99 pink paper for the Phillies. That's going to go to Neil. Cam Collier, all these Cam Colliers will go to Neil as well in the Reds. Um, well, you ended up with the White Sox, the Tigers, and the Marlins. Spoiler alert, that's what happened. The Marlins were the, more, the most expensive team remaining before we pulled the teams for the Phillies. Also, if you're new to this, so vet paper like Juan Soto won't ship, right? Same with that Arenado, but obviously rookie cards will ship. And there's also prospect paper that don't have Bowman first on it, like all the Bowman first will ship. But there's like some prospects that don't have Bowman first, those will not ship. I think everyone, we've done 13 cases of this. We're on case 14, so I think most of you know the drill by now. There's James Altman. He'll ship all, and so and all obviously all the chrome and numbered cards will ship. This is possible uh, rookie of the year candidate. All right, and you got the Brewers straight up, correct? I have you for the Brewers in this too. We got Joe Stewart, twenty out of two fifty, going to David and the Halos. And I'll do an autograph uh, recap at the end of this break as well. So there's our first of three.
There's our first Drew Jones sighting. And our second Drew Jones sighting. One chrome, one paper. Jeremy has the Diamondbacks. Are Bowman cards without the Bowman first worthless unless they have an auto? Or are they worth keeping? Mm, I wouldn't say they're worthless. But you want the Bowman firsts. So obviously the rookie cards, the rookie cards in Bowman not as desirable, I think. I think in some cases, yeah, ooh, nice True Jones here to 150. But it's mostly about the Bowman firsts. So here's an Invicta True Jones, and then Atomic Refractor right there for Jeremy and Diamondback. So like a prospect like Yes or Mercedes, Right, non Bowman first, not worth as much as the Bowman first when he was in Bowman draft, I think. But Edward Julian's Bowman first, you know, will definitely have more value than subsequent paper. Oh, yeah. What a mess of a case that was. But you got a you got a bonus case. You got a bonus two boxes. We ripped open a fresh case after that. There's Sedan Rafaela to two ninety nine speckle. Chrome Cam Collier for Neil and the Reds. And our second autograph is going to be for the Cubs. It's Moises Ballesteros. That'll be for EA and the Cubs. Here you go, Eric. That was a pretty good one for the Yankees, though. And we still shipped all the cards from that break, too, from the first two sad boxes. We'll yell at the right people. I'm sure we'll get a, another case back for ourselves. Nice. You, you bought a Bowman Chrome University hobby box and pulled a Will Levis Gold Auto? You pulled that with Michael over there on the personal breaks? Nice. Yeah, would love to see that hit parade baseball today. Let's do another one of those today. Or we did, what did we do yesterday? We did basketball yesterday. Let's do, let's do the baseball today. It's a Jaspi exclusive. A hit parade case a day keeps the doctor away. That's that's backed up by uh, decades and decades of of medical research. And we've got a Troy Johnson, Johnston, forty-five out of four ninety-nine. Oh, not from us. Well, if we don't pull it, it doesn't really exist, James. If a tree falls in a forest and no one's there to hear a sound, doesn't make a sound. I say no. If a hit is pulled from a non jaspy break, is it really a hit? I don't think so. All right, nice start. Box one in the books. Instagram's easy, James. Do you have an Instagram account? Even if you don't, you just download Instagram. You don't even have to post anything on there. You just use it as a, as a viewing app 
for Jaspie's Breaks. Follow at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram. And that's how you watch. That's it. There's a little live, it'll be a little circle on top of your Instagram homepage. That'll be, that'll, that'll be kind of blinking in a certain way. And that's when you know we're live. It'll also have a little tag that says live on it. You click there, that's how you watch. And then you go to jaspies.com. You buy a box that you want. And then let the breaker know in the chat, hey, I'm here, ready for the box. And then and if there's a line, then you just wait. And then you'll be able to select a box. And it'll be ripped open for you live while you're watching. Because we only, we only rip the boxes when you're in the... We don't record the videos. But we'll rip the boxes when we know you can confirm that you're in the stream. And that's it. And then we mail you the cards. I mean, a lot easier than group breaks. Group breaks, the diff different kind of challenge. Group breaks, you have to, I guess, personal breaks, a different kind of challenge because you have to convince people to buy a whole box all for themselves. Group breaks, different challenge because we have to convince a bunch of people to share the cost of the box. But however you want to break, ladies and gentlemen, we've got it for you. Group breaks or personal breaks. Personal breaks right here on this YouTube channel. Or a group breaks right here on this YouTube channel. And then personal breaks on Instagram Live, at Jaspies Breaks. Give it a shot. We got another Cub. We got Dernish Valdez. EA with the Cubs. A lot of people are like, man, I, I don't do Instagram. That's not my thing. It's like, don't think of it as having to do Instagram. Just download it as a, a tool, to an app to watch Jaspies. You might as well call it the Jaspies Personal Break Live Streaming app. Just think of it that way. You don't have to, you're not under any obligation to post anything or anything like that. Just get the app, watch Jaspies. Or yeah, yeah. I mean, you can always have the option to ship it sealed. Just place the order and in the notes section, ladies and gentlemen, just let us know where we want it shipped sealed. 170 out of 250 purple paper. In fact, we just do that by default. If we if the person we don't see the person that night in the chat asking us to break his or her specific box, the next day it'll just get shipped out sealed automatically. There's Diane Frias, Speckle Auto to 299. Cleveland, this is for you. Tristan with the Guardians. Yes, a hit still, as long as you get it from us, the hit still counts if you get hits out of there. Those can It's just, just hard to get excited about someone's hit when they bought it from someone else. I mean, it's cool, but it's a little, little harder for us to get excited about that. There's Jose Perosa at a 250, purple Ray Wave for Neil and the Mets. We got Junior Garcia to 499, paper for the Dodgers, Mark Bissett. It's a good way for me to learn some of the Dodger prospects too. Uh, Drew Jones, paper for Jeremy and the Diamondbacks, and uh, Edouard Julien for the Twins. That's for Stephen Carney.
There's a chrome Edouard Julien. And our third autograph is going to be an Astro. It's Ryan Clifford, the big red dog, 65 out of 150. That is for Jeremy and the Astros. Number 13 prospect in the Astros organization. Jeremy won that team in the filler. Another Justin Crawford for Neil and the Phillies. And a Kennedy Corona, 40 out of 199. Purple Lunar parallel for Jeremy and the Astros. Another box down, another box to go. Well, more box to go, but another box coming up. And again, I'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break. I think we have some baseball games, a few baseball games in progress. We've got top of the sixth. Rays are up on the Yankees, one nothing. It looks like a little bit of a pitching duel here. Three hits for the Rays, two hits for the Yankees. I don't have any action on a lot of the baseball games today, but I did do the rare, I normally don't do parlays, I did a rare two-team parlay. Seems like some decent value there. Money line, two-team money line parlay. Red, Cincinnati Reds and Diamondbacks. The Reds were a, a big underdog, and they actually pulled it off. They beat the Mets. So now I just need the Diamondbacks. They're not as big of an underdog, but still an underdog. I think maybe I'll get like five to one, plus 500-ish on that, a one unit play. So go, go Diamondbacks. Oh, you know what I forgot to do for people watching in YouTube? So we closed the poll. We've got basketball in the background. Boston's up 46-32 in Philly. 53% um, of voters uh, thinks that Philly will end up closing this game out. There's four minutes left in the first half. The second game tonight is going to be, let's post this poll. Who wins game six tonight? Is it going to be Denver, who are up on the series, 3-2? Or Phoenix, who are down 2-3, but they're, they're at home. So Philly can close it out tonight. Nuggets can close it out tonight. My Lakers did not close it out last night, but they'll be playing tomorrow. They're back home. Hopefully they can close it out against the Warriors. And if the Lakers don't win game six, they got to go to the go to Golden State for game seven. I think it might be sad times for my Lakers at that point. All right, third box. Good luck. And we got Vincent Perozo, purple paper to 250. That'll be for the Mets. That's for Neil. And 
and we've got a Andres Mesa. Purple Chrome to 250 for Texas. That'll be for Ryan Heinz. And our first auto from this box is Emmanuel Bonilla. 37 out of 299 speckle autograph for Toronto. That's for Neil. That's with a spot he bought straight up. I think all of Neil's spots are straight up. Thank you, Neil. Another Justin Crawford for Neil and the Phillies. We've got a Kyler Fedco, 250 out of 250, the last one ever made. That's for Stephen Carney and the Twins with a spot Stephen bought straight up. Spencer Jones paper. All those Spencer Joneses will be going to Oren and the Yankees. Hopefully we'll find maybe some Spencer Jones ink, some low numbered cards. You know what I haven't seen? Either auto or non-auto, I have not seen a super fractor. There's Kumar Rocker. 203 at 399 lava for the Rangers. Ryan Heinz. Kumar. Miguel Vargas starting to swing the bat pretty well now. I think, I think he got had a little pinky issue that I think he's finally getting over. There's Cade Cavalli, purple paper to 250 for Ed and the Nationals. And we've got a How You Lee. Autograph for the Phillies, Neil, with the fighting Phils. Another Chrome Drew, Drew Jones and another paper Cam Collier. All right, another box. We just posted a quick, fun little, uh, fun little uh, poll on the YouTube side. Who wins, 
Game six tonight. Western semifinals. Denver leads the series 3-2, but they are in Phoenix. Does Phoenix try to... Phoenix trying to trying to even up the series at three and force a game seven. Phoenix are the slight favorites at minus two. Yeah, what is DeAndre Aiden's status, Scott? I don't know. No, he's officially ruled out according to ESPN. I mean, not that he was putting up monster numbers, but I think that's just a just a large body out there to try to slow down Jokic. Yeah, not that he was stopping Jokic, but not that he was stopping Jokic, but at least, you know, it's a body on Jokic, right? If you're doing a DraftKings Captain Showdown lineup, I mean, are, are you paying for Nikola Jokic? Put him in that captain spot? Maybe. All right, another box coming up. And we got an Evan Carter, Bowman Scouts Top 100, number 42. Evan Carter, 70 out of 125. Now sometimes, Actually, a lot of times, if you get like the jersey number of a player from the serial number, right? I think uh, it gets a little boost in value, especially if it's a it's, if it's a nice player. I wonder if it's the same with their ranking right there. That'll go to Texas. That'll be for Ryan Heinz. And we got A's Max Muncy to four ninety nine. It's for Andrew and the A's. No, Jokic did not get suspended, Rex. He, um, he, got he got, yeah, he got a big fine instead. Well, big with quotation marks. Well, it was like 25K or something. Right. As much as the collective bargain agreement allowed. <laughs> which was 25, I mean, which is, how much do you think that is to, to Jokic and whatever he's getting paid? Oh, uh, probably like 20 bucks to us. 20 bucks to us, yeah, maybe, maybe less. But I, I guess the, uh, the son's owner was like pretty cool about it. Was, yeah. Like, they shook hands before and stuff. Alright, and All right, we've got, got a speckle autograph. Uh, Ambioris Tavares, 225 out of 299. Speckle auto for the Braves, Jose. Got the Braves in the filler. If it was a regular season game, do I think he would have been suspended? Yeah, I think maybe, yeah. And yeah, and it might not even be right. Brandon Dre, I mean, it might not even have been a, as big of a thing in a regular season game. It might have just kind of went under the radar. Kevin Parada, 134 out of 150, blue shimmer for the Mets. That'll be for Neil. Yeah, if it was just like a, a mid-season you know, regular season game between the Nuggets and the Suns. Womp, what's going on? And it might not be, uh, might not have been a big deal. But everything's magnified in the playoffs.
And we got Zach Neto. 83 out of 100, Atomic Refractor Autograph for David and the Angels. David won that spot with a spot that he won in the filler. Won a spot and then got randomized the Angels. I think he's been playing somewhat regularly for the Angels. He got called up a week or two ago. Stephen Carney with the Twins gets all those Edward Julians. Another Drew Jones paper. All these add up, I would imagine. Jeremy Taylor got the Diamondbacks straight up. We got Emmanuel Bonilla. Blue Jays auto for Neil. Neil got the Bluebirds straight up. We posted a poll, ladies and gentlemen. Give me your thoughts. Who's going to win game six tonight? Denver is in Phoenix. Got a handful of votes already. 60% saying Phoenix. It's Phoenix to even up the series. Personally, I would I would love to see Phoenix even up the series, make it a seven-game series, and hope to God that my Lakers beat the Warriors on Friday, so so old man LeBron can get a little bit of a, a little bit of a rest, a little extra day or two of rest. There's a Yilba Herrera, 47 out of 199 for the Twins. That'll be for Steven. Every little bit helps for that team. All right, we are halfway through this break. We got about another half hour to go. Thanks everyone for getting in. Pick your team 15 is already in the store and already halfway there. For the most part. Baseball section. Yeah, I think pick your team 15 has 14 teams left. You want to get your team straight up before it ends up in filler, make it happen. You know, with a little luck, we might be able to run back another one tonight. Ryan Reynolds ends pursuit of the Ottawa Senators. Mets have lost 13 of their last, I'm looking at the ESPN ticker, 13 of their last 17. Sheesh. Next one, second half of the case starting now. We've got a Atomic, Bowman Scouts Top 100, number eight, Jordan Lawler, 131 out of 150 for Jeremy and the Diamondbacks.
And Logan Wagner to 399 paper for the Dodgers, number 28 Dodgers prospect. That's for uh, Mark and my Dodgers. There's uh, Martin Gonzalez to 399 Lava for Seattle. That's for Mark and the Mariners. And we've got Diego Hernandez, gold shimmer, 37 out of 50 for the Royals. It's for David M. and the Royals. And we'll never be Royals. Number 21, organizational prospect. Christopher Morell, rookie green paper to 399. I think he just got called back up. Called up recently? Had a good game or two? It's for EA and the Cubs. Drew Jones paper. Second half of Z Box. We got Nelson Rada for the Angels. That's going to go to David and the Halos. We got Abel Bastidas, 374 out of 499, refractor for the Tigers. That's going to be for Havans. Neil with the Phillies gets the, all those Justin Crawfords. Carl's kid. Edward Julian. We got Ronnie Simon, blue lunar autograph to 150. A little bit of a color match there. Tampa Bay Rays, Oren with the Rays. What did I screw up? Did I screw up something? Labels. I, screw I don't think that was you. Wait, you're not Saturday, was it? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Chris. Oh, he's, he left for the day. Otherwise, we would have shamed him. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, no on the switch of room. Okay, that's fine. Are you taking that's fine, uh, that's fine. a break after this, Joe? I am. Alright, I'm gonna go get some food, bring my car to the parking lot. Nice. And then eat, and then set up ping pong. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll put it around. We'll put it around. And Spencer Jones, Chrome.
All right, three boxes left. Good luck. That's one of their sports news happening here. I guess a couple hockey players getting suspended for, for, for instigating fights. Lakers, Anthony Davis, quote, feeling great. A probable for game six. Ex-coach Anderson seeking $45.6 million from St. John's. Wow. What happened there? He was fired, but oh, said he was fired with a cause only so the school could end up avoiding his buyout to hire Rick Patino. Don't be cheap, St. John's. Chad, is Top Chrome Black going to break today? Yes. Especially if you want it to, Chad. Remember, you control the schedule of the show, not me. In fact, I should be asking you that question, Chad Daw. Chad, is Topps Chrome Black going to break today? I don't control the when. You do, ladies and gentlemen. You do. Well, no, that just gives, I know you are, Chad, but just gives me a good excuse to reemphasize the fact that, hey, you control the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. 20 out of 50, Anthony Gutierrez, gold paper for Texas. That's going to go to Ryan. Buy some spots. You control the show. You determine what breaks and what does not break on a daily basis. That power is in your hands. We got Jefferson Rojas, purple chrome, autographed to 250. That'll be for EA and the Cubs. Sometimes I'll control the schedule. Sometimes I'll push things forward, push things back, but that's very, very rare, a very rare occurrence. Now, ultimately, it's first to fill, first to break. The only thing we work around, I guess, is me uh, eating dinner schedule. We got a Marion Boyd, 28 out of 150 for the Phillies. That'll be for Neil. Really control. I don't really control it. I can try to influence people to join certain breaks, but at the end of the day, everyone can just be like, screw you, Joe. We don't care what you're saying. We want to fill this other break. So I don't have it, I don't I don't have as much control as you may think. We got a Dodger autograph, Josu De Paula. That's for Mark Bissett and the Dodgers.
<laughs> I wish I was a Jedi, Devin. If I was, we'd be selling brakes out nonstop. <laughs> These aren't the brakes you're looking for. Hello there. Third auto of the second, uh, third to last box is Jorge Ruiz, 39 out of 299. Speckle autograph for David M. and the Angels. Justin Crawford and Axel Sanchez to 199 for Seattle. It'll be for Mark. Neil gets the Justin Crawford. There's Gavin Williams. Two boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. Brett Favre says he's no longer suing Pat McAfee for defamation. Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre said Thursday he's no longer suing former NFL player national sports commentator Pat McAfee for defamation. Quote, I'm happy that Pat McAfee and I have settled this litigation, Favre tweeted. Like Pat said, he was attempting to be funny and not commenting based on any personal knowledge. We'd both much rather talk about football. That could be said on his show that Matt Favre is withdrawing the suit. As I previously stated, I respect the hell out of Brett Favre, the football player, and his Hall of Fame career on the field, and I have no personal knowledge about uh, any case involving Brett in uh, Mississippi, McAfee said. I'm pleased to report that based solely on me, again, clarifying these points now with no settlement paid, Brett is withdrawing his suit against me. Favre was suing McAfee back in February over comments that McAfee made about Favre's involvement in a sprawling welfare case in Mississippi. Over millions of dollars in government money that were uh, diverted. All right. Good luck. That'll be an interesting case to follow. We got Yas, Yas or Mercedes. For the Twins to 399, one of their uh, up and coming prospects. Drew Jones paper. And we've got a Pedro Ramirez 
Refractor autograph for EA and the Cubs. Allegedly, Scott. That's right. Thank you. I don't. I. I don't want to get sued by Brett Favre. This is all alleged. Don't sue me, Brett. Don't sue me, Brett Favre. All right, we got a Justin Crawford. And we got a Ruben Santana refractor for Jeremy. You can still vote on our poll, ladies and gentlemen. Who wins? Uh, so we're watching Sixers Celtics right now. And uh, currently the Celtics are up on the Sixers by 10. 58-48 with nine minutes left in the third quarter. Third quarter kind of just started. But who wins the other game six night? Denver at Phoenix. 57% of voters are saying Denver will close out the series tonight. Here is Dominic Canzone. 50 out of 50 gold autograph for Jeremy Taylor and the Diamondbacks. Number 21 prospect in the Diamondbacks organization. Nice, highly productive hitter. Lettered twice in baseball in high school where he also pitched. Maybe we can find a, maybe we can find his teammate or his future teammate. Current team? Current minor league teammate, maybe? Matt Maravis got called up recently, too. I think he started off his campaign on a nice note. Spencer Jones paper for Oren and the Yankees. The Matt Maravis and any previous ones in here goes to E8. And we got a Andres Mesa for Texas. Ryan with the Rangers. Ryan with the Rangers. We got a Zach Neto. 72 out of 125 Aqua Shimmer for the Angels. That will be for David. Former 13th overall pick. Already already playing for the Angels somewhat regularly, I think. All right. Final box. Final three autographs. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pick Your Team 14. Do an auto uh, recap at the end of this break.
Thanks everyone for getting in. Thanks for making this happen. We'll take a little break after this and then hopefully we'll have some more orders to go through. We've got a, we've got a dozen orders coming in. All right. Alex, what's going on? How are you? What are, what are people getting into? Anything sold out? I don't see any sold out designations anywhere. Well, the collegiate filler is sold out. Flawless collegiate basketball filler sold out. We just need six full spots to go. And then we can break that. Yeah, that filler sold out. We just need to move those six uh, full spots. And then we're in Breaksville on that. No more fillers after that. The Topps Chrome Black filler, the last filler is down to three and two full spots left. So that could be another post-dinner break case break so we got we got a few uh, we got a couple breaks a couple main breaks on the cusp of breaking tonight so let's finish those off ladies and gentlemen let's get those across the finish line so to all the people who are like hey I'll buy spots when it gets closer to filling Guess what? It's close to filling. Let's. Let, where are the closers? Everyone wants to be a closer, right? I need to find more starters in some of these breaks. Some more middle relievers. But we got closer. We need closers. So we'll close out those breaks. We'll get it on the schedule. Suns or Nuggets? I'm not sure. Who do you like, Alex? I got I'm leaning I'm leaning nuggets. Now, how much of an impact is DeAndre Ayton being out? How much of an impact does that make? There's Ronnie Simon. Not like he was slowing Jokic down too much, but Ronnie Simon purple paper going to uh going to the, to uh, Oren and the Rays. But he's still he's still a body that can maybe try to slow down Jokic, so maybe that does have an effect. I feel like uh, James wants to see Booker cry tonight. I feel like yeah, I feel like Devin Devin Booker. I feel like Devin Booker and um, Kevin Durant probably have to go off for like 30, 30 plus points each them to hang in there which they easily could there's Lisandro Rodriguez to 499 that's for the Royals that's gonna go to David Suns are favored right by by how much though I think they're they're favored I don't think by much By two. We got Justin Verlander, yellow paper to 75. 75 out of 75. Neil with the Mets. You know, honestly, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't uh, I don't wager on the NBA enough to, to really know, but how many points is home field advantage usually in basketball? Or is there home court advantage? You know, like in football, it's usually, generally speaking, it's a field goal, right? And we got a Shea Langliers Rookie of the Year Favorites autograph. Nice. 115 out of 150. Andrew with the A's. We were talking about this a little bit earlier today with Chris Jaspi. This is a catch right here. Um, are, we, are we entering a possibly a golden age of catchers? 
And Adley Rushman, Henry Davis is coming up for the Pirates. Shay Langliers. I feel like there's a couple other young catchers. Ooh, nice Drew Jones. There's Adley Rushman. I think Gabriel Moreno for the Diamondbacks. Nice Drew Jones for Jeremy Taylor and the D-backs. There's one more autograph in here. Could it be a Drew Jones? Maybe. Oh, Wilson's been around for a little while. Maybe William could try this. Five thirty says basketball home court's worth about three and a half. And the final autograph of the break is Junior Tillen. Tillian, that's going to go to the Mets. That'll be for Neil and the Metropolitans. Kraken or Stars, Devin is asking in hockey. James says the Stars. Devils and Hurricanes are tied at two. Carolina's leading that series 3-1. Kraken Stars, that series is tied at two. Game's in Dallas, so I guess I would lean. I don't know. I don't know enough about hockey, but home team, I guess. All right, and there's your break, boys and girls. Eight box jumbo, 2023. Bowman baseball jumbo edition, pick your team at number 14. Here's your autograph recap. Thanks everyone for getting in, for making this happen. I appreciate it. Another case in the store, check it out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time for the next one.